Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Love Automotive. I uh, wanted to make a really quick video for anyone who might be running into the same problem uh, that I had with this uh, 2005 Ford F-150 FX4 with the uh, four-wheel drive. Anyways, customer came in um, and the truck was previously at another repair shop where they had a uh, rebuilt transmission put in the truck. And I really don't know the backstory to it, but anyways, the customer had a problem having the shop warranty the transmission um, I think because the the vehicle had switched owners and uh, the original owner was I guess in prison or something like that uh, but anyways the rebuilt transmission had only been in the truck for uh, like probably six months or so and so they brought me the truck with a used transmission that they had picked up at a salvage yard and just they just wanted me to put the transmission in so we installed the used transmission in the truck uh, but after we installed the transmission we had a different problem see when they first brought me the truck uh, it had a problem where you would put it into reverse or put it into drive and the truck just wouldn't move uh, it wouldn't go into any gear and so after installing the used transmission that they provided us uh, you could drive the vehicle you could put it in reverse you could put it in drive and you could drive it up and down the street uh, but it always it, it felt like it was to me it felt like it was stuck in four low uh, because the way the sh it sh transmission was shifting because the way that the transmission wouldn't upshift and the RPMs would would go up really high uh, not like the transmission slipping but like it's in it but like it's in four low but the most obvious symptom that it had was the speedometer reading was way off. Uh, the speedometer was reading probably about twice the speed that we were actually going. So when we were going about 40 miles an hour, it was saying we were going like 100 miles an hour. So the speedometer reading was way off. And uh, I'll tell you initially, I, I, I was thinking that we had a problem with the transmission that they provided us, which was a used transmission. And so I wanted to make sure that the speed sensors were reading correctly. And so, cause this transmission has two speed sensors. Let, let me show you. So on these four R75Ws, uh, you'll have two speed sensors. One is uh, this input speed sensor and then the output speed sensor. And, and this is where it's gonna read for the vehicle speed. Um, so I initially thought that, you know, the problem was not really in the transfer case area because there's no speed sensor on the transfer case area uh, to me I was more focused on the vehicle speed sensor uh, maybe the reluctor that's inside I was wondering if maybe the transmission they were they were provided um, had a different reluctor inside on the uh, on the output shaft drum but when I pulled the sensor out and I counted the teeth and I, and I looked at the style of teeth that it had uh, it was all correct and so I was really baffled on as to what the problem was and after going around in circles I decided to check on IATN and I'll tell you I found an article and I, I don't remember the gentleman's name uh, but I found an article on IATN where the guy was explaining the, explaining the symptoms that he had and they were exactly the same symptoms that I was having and uh, what he ended up finding was that the problem was actually in the transfer case <clears throat> so this is a transfer case that came out of the truck and as you can see this is where the transfer case motor attaches goes right here <clears throat> and so what he did find out was that when you would try to manually put this into four low if you look you'll see that there's some markings here this two high four high and four low and so you can actually turn the shaft with a pair of pliers uh, but what would happen is that when you would try to put it into four low it wouldn't stay in four low it would spring itself back out and so let me let me show you a demonstration of that really quick so what you'll notice is that this shaft is triangular shaped and uh, where the shaft points it's going to indicate what uh, what setting you're in and so it's easy enough to just grab these with a grab this with a pair of pliers and shift it and so with these you can get this into four high and I can go back to two and then I can go back to four 
but when I attempt to go into four low, it's very difficult to do so. And then when I do, it won't stay, it just springs back. Let me show you that again. If I try to, it just springs back. Um, so I knew that there was a problem in the transfer case, but I didn't really know how that related to the speedometer reading being way off because the speed sensor is on the transmission. And so I don't really understand how the speedometer reading was off if there is no speed sensor on the transfer case. So I, I think that's really what threw me off because even on the IATN post, the guy uh, did mention that replacing the transfer case fixed the problem, which it also fixed my problem. We replaced the transfer case and then the problem was solved. But at the same time, he didn't know why the speedometer reading being way off was a symptom because of course like i said the speed sensor is in the transmission i can't really answer that i don't know why the speedometer reading was thrown off because of this uh because of this transfer case we also graphed the wheel speed sensors on the scan tool and uh what was funny is that the wheel speed sensor speeds uh were actually more accurate than what the speedometer was reading so uh, the wheel speed sensors, if it felt like we were going 30 miles an hour, the wheel speed sensor seemed to match that. But when you would look at the speedometer, it, it, would, it was saying we were going like 80 miles an hour. So uh, again, I knew it wasn't a problem with the wheel speed sensors. And that's kind of what led me more in the direction of the speed sensor and the transmission, uh, which is why it was so confusing. One of the other ways that I knew that uh, the transfer case had to be replaced regardless was when I removed the drain plug uh, you could actually see the chain in here and it's really loose so I knew that something inside the transfer case was bad uh, but like like I said I don't know why the speedometer reading uh, being way off is a symptom of this uh, maybe maybe you guys might know uh, maybe you guys could enlighten me on this on this subject anyways guys like I said I hope this video helps somebody out because uh, this this actually really did kick my ass um, and you know if it wasn't for that IATN article I uh, probably would have taken even a lot longer for me to figure out what the heck was going on uh, but anyways just wanted to share that with you guys uh, please if you like the video like the video if you have any comments comment down below and uh, if you like the channel please subscribe thanks for watching